Hey, hello, how are you guys doing? This is uh, your boy Josie Joshua Koko and uh, we're live for the very first time and uh, this is the Hardlock Podcast and I'm super excited to uh, have this podcast with you guys being the very first episode. Let's run the intro of the show and then I'll see you after the intro. Let's go. Welcome back from that intro, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Hardlock Podcast. It's the very first episode. I'm extremely excited uh, that you're able to join us for this particular episode. So there's so many things. This is basically me making history for myself, for you guys, for um, the entire industry in Uganda. And I can let you know that there's so much you should expect from this particular podcast. Uh, this being the very first episode, we might not do so much, but in the near future, we hope to do so many uh, stuff in this epi- uh, in this podcast, including interviews, including 411, and a couple of other things. So that's what we're hoping for. We have a segment on this show. It's called The Good and the Downright Ugly. And it is what we're going for next, a story that happened over the week, today being Monday, of course, you know, last week, exactly what went through. So without a waste, uh, wasting any further time, let's get straight into our segment of over the good and the downright ugly for last week. Okay, well and good. Before we do anything, ladies and gentlemen, just know that we are at Triplex Apartments, an amazing place for uh, your needs of, uh, you know, you want to have parties, you want to come to a bar, you want to sleep over. This place literally has the very best rooms in the whole of Call it Northern Uganda. So that's where we are right now. And they are proud sponsors. Thank you so much. Management of Triplex Apartments Arua. And without a further ado, ladies and gentlemen, we're going straight into the good things that happened over this uh, over last week. The very first good news that every probably Ugandan wants to hear for the very first time is that, yes, Nyege Nyege is actually happening, guys. There was a lot of chaos about Nyege Nyege uh, because last week, early last week, uh, the Speaker of Parliament, that is Honorable Anita Mong, had said that that's a very immoral thing and people shouldn't go for this event and everything. It was particularly stopped. But government has revised its uh, opinion about this whole event because uh, uh, Naba and the, 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 the Prime Minister came up and said, you know what, we're actually going to have this concert. It's going to be, uh, I mean, this particular event is going to be direct in Itanda Falls, that is in Busoga Kingdom. So, yeah, that's a good news. And uh, before we do anything, I just want to roll for you a clip of what exactly the Honorable Navanja said. The event will take place because we have given them a very short time. Some people had already booked tickets. Cancellation at such a short notice uh, was a bit challenging. Since 2018, we have worked very closely with the police, the Ministry of Internal Affairs, and all the other government agencies to make sure that the festival is safe and secure. So there you go. That is a clip. So it officially, for all Ugandans, it's happening. It's happening. So, uh, and by the way, tickets, the sale ends today uh, for Nyege Nyege Festival. So especially the Alibaba tickets after that is going to be expensive. So from 15th to 18th of, uh, of, uh, of September, the event is going down. And now, going locally, we are speaking about Monopoly Bad Character. Now, to bring into perspective for those who do not understand, Monopoly Bad Character is c- uh, probably one of the best male singers in this region right now of West Nile and of course the Northern as well. He's doing an amazing job. And I can assure you this guy uh, did the unthinkable for the very first time in this region by a local artist. This guy held one of the biggest freaking f-ing concerts in the entire of this region. It was attended by a full house. Parking lots were full. On This was actually just uh, two weeks ago on the 2nd of September. So here's a clip real quick for you. And then I will be getting back to explain my own verdict about this particular show. <laughs> Yeah. 
C'est ça le pas de peuple blanc, le pas du tout de l'homme de l'air et du camp. C'est ça le pas de l'homme de l'air et du camp. Et il y a des détails, mais il y a des détails, on y vit au détail, on y vit au détail, on y vit au détail, on y vit au détail. Today you see a lot of vibe it was awesome it was a full house but ladies and gentlemen I would be unfair if I told you that I expect this event to work first of all I went to Monopoly himself I told him dude first of all never expected this to work out for so many reasons you know there's a lot of concerts that have been organized by so many local artists in Arua in um, the north they normally not work out as such but this particular concert worked out but I told him right from the beginning I had my doubts and of course he caught feelings you know guys uh, <laughs> he caught feelings remember next week I'm having Monopoly bad character right here on the show he's going to be my very first guest on the Hard Lock podcast with me Josie Joshua Koko going forward ladies and gentlemen a uh, local story as well Arua 1 FM the radio station that has been ranked number one by the Ipsos Nam report in West Nile they call something the Arno Rig Truck uh, whereby they go to so many different places basically like a concert you know so with a lot of local artists those from Kampala and a few presenters go out being the biggest radio station in Western Uganda um, I, I mean particularly in West Nile I keep saying Western Uganda because I'm from Western Uganda fresh so my mind is still in that place and so a few photos you're seeing right here on your screen right now these are the fo- uh, photos from the event and the guys really did a good work so I want to in a special way thank the management of Arua 1 FM for making sure this actually worked finally the biggest mega event happened on Saturday just this past Saturday on the 10th of September they were here in Arua city and I can assure you it was a big event it was awesome and I'm super super happy for the radio station and for this event as well this is not a PR story I just felt I should put that out there now police has finally gotten the man himself that is C Papa Now CID and police announced recently uh, actually early last week uh, they announced that they finally have C Papa in uh, custody you remember C Papa story C Papa has actually been accused of uh, aggravated robbery well it's alleged the story is that uh, he actually uh, went to the house of a South Sudanese guy they call him Jacob uh, Arok they have weird names those those dark skin tall guys with that beards they have funny weird names so Jacob Arok anyways was the person that was uh, allegedly robbed so they were looking for him the entire country and i think he's finally been netted and he's in the custody of the police because they say that currently police had to go to Sipapa's house to do raiding uh they recovered 70,000 US dollars four phones they recovered uh, three laptops gold jewelry among so many other things you know Sipapa from the pictures you're seeing on the screen right now but yeah he lives a wealthy life and probably was starting to know where this guy is actually getting his wealth from because he's a darling of the president of Uganda that is uh, his excellency Yoweri Kaguta M7 so he's in and the police released a statement and the statement said we wish to inform the public that the uh, directorate of crime intelligence has arrested a one Olimu Charles Sipapa uh, who was on the police wanted list for an alleged aggravated robbery there's more thing that said they said in this uh, report but i'm not going to bore you guys with so much you know police stuff and being serious so the next story ladies and gentlemen is the story that is going to make a lot of us happy especially we who uh, have girlfriends who and probably exes who have um, loved Jason Momoa you know Jason Momoa the man himself uh your girlfriend's biggest crush you know you who is watching this video if you're a man probably and you have a girlfriend show your girlfriend the photo of aquaman the man himself jason momoa 
the man, his hair, his beard and everything, his body, uh, the girls get on her head, the, uh, whatever it is. So apparently, Jason Momoa has actually cut off his hair. Uh, he has cut off his hair because he says he is fighting for the right cause. And uh, you can see some of the photos of his photos on screen. This is before he actually chopped off his hair. But he came off on, um, to, uh, on Instagram. He posted a video on Instagram actually just uh, about, uh, actually last week, yes. He posted a video on Instagram saying that he was urging people to stop using uh, plastic water bottles. He, and uh, because for the environment and for the sea life, uh, the marine life, basically, he was urging people to make sure they did not use uh, plastic. Hello, everyone. Um, hand me those, hand me those braids. So, shaving off the hair, doing it for. Uh, oh, 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 oh man, I've never even felt the wind right there. Do it for. Uh, Single-use plastics. I'm tired of these plastic bottles. We gotta stop. Plastic forks, all that shit. Just goes into our land, goes into our ocean. I'm here in Hawaii right now. I'm just seeing things in our ocean. It's just so sad, so please, anything you can do to eliminate single-use plastics in your life. Finally! On the story for this particular week, I'm looking at Lillian Babazi, the girl herself, former Blood 3, and uh, Olive Vitamin, the, the, the woman of Vitamin. Finally, she has come out and said, you know what, guys? Finally, I want to date one more time. Uh, actually, this was uh, the late Mose Radio's fiancé back in the days. And uh, so, if you think you can shoot your shot, go to her inbox, especially on Instagram. That's where normally they get these things from. The guy, the lady needs a particularly God-fearing person who is going to love the kids. So that is it for you. I, personally, I really don't think Lillian should be getting, I don't know, man. Lillian, your time is gone. I don't know. You, the, the boyfriend you have to get should be like 60 years old. You're no longer young. I don't know. how. I mean, look at Jackie Chandiru, man. Things are difficult for her right now. I don't know even if she's in love, but uh, who am I to judge? Well, there you go. That is our particular this week, the good and the downright ugly for this particular episode. Ladies and gentlemen, remember this is the Hard Lock Podcast. I uh, hope that you have loved it so much today. We've done it differently because um, we are starting out, but I can assure you from next week, our very first guest is going to be on this podcast, Monopoly bad character the man himself i'm happy now just big shout outs to everyone watching for those who are watching f from uh, youtube i want to say thank you so much please take some time click on the subscribe button click on the like button drop a comment and a big thank you to triplex apartments hotel for making sure that this beautiful place an amazing amazing space is given to us to make sure that we shoot this video the man behind the camera tokodani paul that is a uh, powell yeah, so Paul, come aside to these guys and then we'll be good to go. Please, this is the guy who's on the camera. What's up? Hello, yeah. hello, hello. How are you doing? <laughs> oh, I'm here. Until we meet next week, bye bye for now. My name is Joshi Joshua. I'm your host for this particular podcast called The Hard Lock. Bye bye. Until we meet again next week.